Coach Hoffman. 2018 man on fire camp here at Crescent Valley. How you doing, man? Doing great. Uh, finished up the high school season this year. Uh, Crick County won their fifth title in six years, so that was awesome. Um, we beat in-state rival Roseburg, which is kind of like we got the Cowboys and Indians duel. We've gone on for the last four years. Now we're splitting two and two, so that's kind of a, a mark of success for us. If we can beat Roseburg, we did that. We won the research tournament, won the, won the state tournament. So uh, Cowboys, I think, will have nine of 11 state places coming back next year. So. That's pretty good. Yeah, future is bright for the Cowboys. Doing well, doing well. Okay, so and then you're transitioning from teacher to what, what's what's yeah, the new position so for you? Yeah, so just finished uh, some interviews and got the dean of students position at our high school. So moving out of the classroom into the office, excited about that, and then just stepped down as a as wrestling coach at Crick County. But uh, got some other things on the line in the future for uh, fit with the family a little bit better and uh, help kind of the whole region and, and help the younger guys. Better, so. Okay, big family stuff happened for you, man. You're outnumbered now Dude. greatly by double, right? If I didn't, if my wife wasn't Superwoman, I don't know how we would have done it. But uh, we had, yeah, we had twin, a uh, boy and a girl twins, uh, end of November this year. So four kids. Yeah, I already had two. And <laughs> you got then four we, kids. And yeah, we were like, oh, let's, you're outnumbered. Hey, let's have three. That'll be a good idea. Well, we ended up having twins in the middle of wrestling season. So, uh, and my wife works full time too. So you could imagine, um, we were both very busy, very tired. And uh, wrestling season, I, even though we had a great season, I don't really remember any of it. So. Wow, you didn't get much sleep. No sleep, man. No sleep. What do you have? Two boys, two girls? Two boys, two girls. I got a son at six. We redshirted him, so he'll be in kindergarten next year. And then we have a, a daughter that's about to turn five, and then we have the two twins that are seven months. All right. Man on fire camp. Talk about it. What's it like coming working for Coach Roberts? Well, we love Coach Roberts, just like you. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. He's done a lot for me in the past. Known him for over a decade now. Just a great guy. You want to be around him. And uh, so when he came to me and asked me to, to do this camp, first I was honored, but I really wanted to help him out too because he's helped us out so much at Crick County over the past you know, decade. And so he's, and especially me personally. So he's a great guy, a great friend. And uh, I knew it was going to be a great camp. I knew he'd get guys in here and he's, he's smart. He's lived up to his word. So tell me about, uh, you know, Working, working, wrestling. Going from yeah. you're going from a totally different position. You're, you're changing to like multiple. Like this is life changing. The last six yeah, months for you, right? Like isn't there like seven really stressful events in your life? Like one of them is a career change. One of them's having babies. And, you know, all those things have happened to us this year. So you know, it's been a stressful year, but we're really excited about it. Um, the dean of students position. I'm really excited about something I'm passionate about, and then also being able to continue to. To be involved in wrestling just in a different capacity, I'm really excited about. So we got some cool things happening in the future. So you guys kind of had a pipeline. Co Coach Gonzalez is your, he's going to take over for you at Crook County. Yeah, he's coached with me for the last nine years, and he actually, I actually took him on his recruiting trip here. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you can ask him that story. But uh, yeah, so he's just a great guy, and uh, he knows the system. He kind of knows what we do, and he's really passionate about it. He's got supportive family, so I know he's going to do a wonderful job. The community loves him. So I know he's going to do a great job as the high school coach. What I love about you as a coach, I love push-ups, high fives, yeah. keeping kids engaged. It's super important. This is summer. Engaged, it gets man. long. Kids the get sessions. bored. Yeah, but but how do you you know where's that style come from? I really liked it. You had me pumped up. You kind of had me on the oh, ropes good. a little bit there. I liked it, man. I don't know. I think it's maybe from you know in college I was a P you know PE major and just you got to keep kids engaged. And I don't know the exact formula, but you know, you can talk for two minutes, but they better be doing for two minutes too. And so I try to just keep them engaged and keep instruction short and simple and show a bunch of stuff and let them try it. And, and again, just keep them moving. Never stuck stick with one thing too long because I think kids just get steady and bored. So just try to keep the practice going fast. So two hours feels like an hour. I like simple, grab the leg. I really like snatch single. You know, yeah. if I don't have to hit my knees, I don't want to hit my knees. Uh, yeah, if I don't have to go underneath the guy, that's what I'm, I'm going to choose that every time, personally. But, I mean, I'm not an expert. I just know what works for our guys, and, you know, the results have been pretty good, so. What are you going to do with all your time, now? <laughs> not a head coach what, anymore? What, what are you going to do? What time, man? What yeah, time? I got true. four kids, you know? So, it's, I'm just excited that I still get to be a part of wrestling, really. So. All right. You heading back to Prineville tonight? No, we're going to stay tonight. Uh, my wife's got an appointment tomorrow. Uh, she's an insurance agent, so she has to look at some stuff tomorrow up in uh, up north in Malala. All right. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. All right, man. You got anything else for me? No, man. Go flow or go, go Zeb, go whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you. Safe travels to you guys. Good luck being outnumbered now, all right? Yeah, thanks a lot.